Hi, we're Rebecca and Ewan, and this week we've loaded up the car and headed north to spend a few days road tripping around Scotland. Join us as we take in the unique sights, ride a world famous train, and try some local delicacies. Welcome back to Scotland, everyone. So, we have just tackled the drive from Fort William all the way to Edinburgh. We stopped and had a little look around the cowpeas. And now we have literally just parked up at Edinburgh and I don't usually open the vlog the night before or in a car park, but we are making an exception because we are about to go and check into what should be a really lovely hotel. We're gonna be staying there for two nights because it is my birthday. So we are gonna go head off now and check into the House of Gods Hotel. We checked into the hotel and were then escorted to our room. Wow. <laughs> We are all checked in. We have just collected a pizza to have for dinner. We've had Prosecco delivered to our room, ready for a perfect little evening in. This room is amazing. It is so beautiful. I'm so glad we booked it. And we booked it with this package that allows us to have the Prosecco on arrival. We also have milk and cookies that we can order later tonight. And we also have a breakfast hamper we can order tomorrow morning. And you do all of that from these cute little buttons on the mini bar. So that is really cool. Yeah, I'm really happy about this. I'm really excited, but I'm going to go eat my pizza. So cheers. I definitely think I'm far too excited for this, but we are going to order our milk and cookies. Just like that. Okay, we might have gone a tiny bit overboard. We've got our milk and cookies, we've got cocktails, and we still have a chocolate assortment that was here in the room when we checked in. So I'm gonna go and have my cocktail, my milk and cookies, my chocolate, and uh, just age quietly over there, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Will we wake? Birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done. Good morning guys. So you are all probably sick of seeing about that hotel room. So you'll be happy to know that we have come out to start exploring Edinburgh for the day. We have come to the new town area of Edinburgh. This is where you're going to find all the high street shops and restaurants. You're going to find the Scott Monument, the National Gallery of Scotland. And it's also where you're going to find the Prince's Street Gardens, which is where we're about to head to on this pretty rainy day. Ooh, check out the giant thistles we have found in the park. So this is Prince's Street Gardens. It's a really famous park here in Edinburgh. It's mostly famous for being set at the foot of Edinburgh Castle, but it's just a beautiful green area to wander around full of monuments and memorials. And of course, it's most famous for its stunning views of the castle. This is Ross Fountain. It is such a beautiful fountain from the 1800s and you might recognise it from a few movies. One of the movies that it is featured in is that Eurovision, the Story of Fire Saga movie that Netflix released, which me and Ewan actually really love and watched last night. So we were excited to come here and check this out. I see you. I see you. There you are. There you are. All right, so we have done a full lap of Edinburgh Castle, popped into a few shops. It looks like the rain is gonna hold off a little bit now. So we are heading towards the old town of Edinburgh and things are gonna get a little bit more Harry Potter vibes from here on out. 
This is Victoria Street. It's well known for being this lovely winding little street and it's thought to be the inspiration behind Diagon Alley. Rather unsurprisingly, there are quite a few Harry Potter themed shops here on Victoria Street. Another curiosity we got to check out on Victoria Street was the William Burke Museum, which houses just one artefact, a calling card made from the actual skin of notorious body snatcher William Burke. No Harry Potter fan can come to Edinburgh and not visit Elephant House. So if you don't know what Elephant House is by any chance, it is the cafe where J.K. Rowling used to come and sit when she was writing the first Harry Potter books. So this place has become known as the birthplace of Harry Potter. So it wasn't just the streets of Edinburgh that inspired J.K. Rowling when she was writing Harry Potter. It was also lots of other different things like this. This is Greyfriars Kirkyard. It is obviously a cemetery here in Edinburgh. And as you wander around, you'll actually notice that a lot of the tombstones have names that you'll recognize from the Harry Potter books. Some of the names that I remember off the top of my head are McGonagall and of course, Tom Riddle. What's actually quite funny about the fact that she took inspiration from McGonagall is the fact that he became famous because he was that bad of a poet. There's even inspiration for the surname Potter here. So this literally has inspired her so much. All right, so I think that is enough Harry Potter for the day. There is a part of Scotland that we have been really badly neglecting, the food. So we have decided to try a battered Mars bar. So if you don't know what that is, that is a Mars bar, which is a chocolate bar here in the UK, dipped into batter and deep fried. It's nicknamed the heart stopper. Let's put that to the test. It's like it's just murdered my mouth. <laughs> so seeing as this was my idea, I guess it's my turn and um, yeah, I am quite nervous. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. That wasn't even a bite. That's not. That's not even a bite. That's not a normal combination. You need to actually take a proper bite. Fine. One off. <laughs> it's so weird. All the nugget is like extra chewy. It's not necessarily bad, and I can totally understand someone craving this like on a night out drinking, but um, I don't think I'd go out of my way to have another one. Okay, so we have come back to the hotel room. We have freshened up, all ready to head out again for the evening. We are going to a steakhouse for my birthday dinner. I'm probably not going to vlog anything there and it'll probably be too dark when we're done to vlog anything around Edinburgh. So I'm gonna wrap this vlog up here. Thank you all so much for joining us in today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed exploring a bit of Edinburgh with us. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more and hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. Call it a day and celebrate